Hi, this is David Bell, David Likes Photography. I want to show you an advanced feature using Content Aware Fill. And as you can see here, uh, I've made this image up. This girl was in this picture, but in a different location. But I want to demonstrate how Content Aware Fill not only can remove people from an image, but create a better background so that you can move them over to another area of the, of the image. And why would you want to do that? because the lighting is correct for her face in this particular image. If I pasted her into a copy and pasted her into another image background, it would be difficult to get the lighting just right. So I, I want to keep this image. I just want to move her down. So here's how we're going to do it. First, um, we're going to go ahead and lasso her. Use the lasso tool. And um, I'm going to show you the problem that you have sometimes with content aware of fill. Um, is in this case, uh, well, just watch. We'll go to Edit, Fill, Content Aware. And uh, it's replicated the background except for this area right in here. See the green? It's actually taken some of the brick wall from up in here. So, um, uh, okay, let me. Uh, Reverse that by stepping backwards. I'm going to step back once, step back twice, and um, this time I'm going to do the advanced method, which is to select the area that is causing a problem. In this case, it is the vase and all this up in here. Okay, and we're going to mask this out. So I'm going to come over here. Uh, to my layer and get this lock, this padlock, drag it to the trash cans. So now uh, when I hold down the Alt key and click on this Create Layer Mask, all of a sudden the background, all the problems disappear. Okay, make sure I'm selected on the picture and not the mask. And then make another selection, okay, roughly about the same. And uh, let's try this again. Edit, fill, content aware. And guess what? No problem with the green background. Uh, the green in there and the background looks a lot better. Um, so, okay, we're going to go deselect this. We're going to go ahead and we no longer need this mask. So we can just drag it to the trash can. Say delete. Okay, now it's replicated a pretty good background. There's just a slight couple things like this bush is not perfect. Well, I could come over and clone that out. It's not a big deal. Okay, with the clone tool, it's really uh, nothing to do there. Um, I'm not really concerned about all this up in here because, um, quite frankly, I'm not going to use that part of the picture anyway. Um, it's down in here. And the uh, only thing I see is there's a slight uh, variation right in here. So I'm going to get my patch tool and just select that area and drag it to another part to smooth that out, do a deselect. Okay, and that looks pretty good because now what I want to do is um, move her. And I'm not going to show how to cut and paste uh, and use the refine edge uh, 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 what do you call it, the uh, layer uh, assembly, but, uh, the panel is what I'm trying to come. Uh, and But I've already cut her out and paste, and so let's go ahead and paste her in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do a paste. So she's already pasted, and now I can move her to a no, new location, which I wouldn't have had this background to do before. And that's a nice thing about content or fill. And so now we can come up here. And um, so I'm going to move her just a little bit over here. Now I can come up, do a crop, and I'll have all this bright. I'm going to do, this is just an example. I'm just going to do a tight crop here uh, to get that white background out of there. Select, deselect. And um, so we've got a new image here if I wanted to. Burn it down a little bit. Oops, got to be down here on the actual 
layer. I can burn down the background and um, not bad for uh, a background that we didn't have before. And so there you have it. There's my new image. And uh, to look at uh, before and after. This was before um, and this is after. And that's how you use advanced feature of content aware fill, which by the way, I learned from David Rogers, uh, uh, Photoshop uh, expert off the internet. So that's it. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave L. David Likes Photography.